guys, it's Autumn and welcome to a sketchbook session. I don't do these very often, but I thought it would be really fun to do one and just kind of chat with you guys for a little bit. Uh, last week's video was also kind of just a chatty drawing video, but I'm feeling like that's a bit more my speed nowadays. This is not sped up at all. There's a couple clips that are, but I'll explain why. Um, and I'm just going to be drawing my boys, Jack and Simon. That's literally the plan for today. Uh, this first drawing I'm doing is of Jack. Um, it's not a bad drawing, I guess. It's nice. It's okay, given the angle I was drawing this at. Drawing at a desk with a camera looming over your head where you have to keep everything in shot is not, not as easy as I wish it was. Um, I will say that I did enjoy my time drawing. I was watching some videos while I was doing it and just kind of chilling, hanging out. It was a cold day, which is why I've got the sweater on. It was like 60s the day that I filmed this, like low 60s, which is not out of the ordinary for this time of year in uh, upstate New York. Well, at least super duper upstate New York. Um, where I'm originally from, this is a little out of season, but this that's pretty accurate to season up here in North Country from my understanding from last year's weather. I could be wrong. It could it's supposed to be warmer or something, but that's all it is. Uh, so just to go over some of the supplies that I'm using in this video, I have an ELO sketchbook. I believe this is the 8x8 or 7.5x7.5. It's one of those. It's one of the larger ones. It's not a small one. Um, I'm almost to the end of this sketchbook, actually. I've got like two pages left, I think in it, um, which means there'll be another sketchbook tour coming shortly. Um, gotta love them sketchbook tours. I'm actually super surprised with how well that sketchbook tour is doing. At the time of recording the voiceover for this, uh, that video has surpassed 600 views, and that is insane for one of my art videos. Like, I used to do, um, back in the olden days when I was underage and should not have been on the YouTube. Um, I did uh, Minecraft videos and things and they did pretty decently because Minecraft was so popular at the time and it was very fun to do them when I was doing them. They are very cringy to go back and listen to and watch because I sound like a baby, but it's just, it, it's unheard of for one of my art videos to do that well. I think the only one that's done the only two that have done even close to that well were two that were kind of, they're just paper review videos, which is weird. Uh, one of them is the Bee Watercolor Paper, which did really well. I think that one's maybe like 700 views or something. And then my Windsor Newton Marker Paper, which pissed people off immensely, is over a thousand, which is really good. But like a sketchbook tour, a double header sketchbook tour video got over 600 views. Okay. Uh, I'm just very excited about that. But I went off on a tangent. Uh, the other supplies that I've got just above me are um, Eagle Line brush markers. They're water-based brush markers. I like them because the colors are nice. I don't have as many of them in my main uh, bag anymore. The bag that I'm using is a reused, or not a reused, a recycled materials pencil case that looks like an evidence bag. I've shown it before. It is one of my favorite things that I own for art. Um, I have the Prismacolor Cola Race pencils in blue and purple. They're my two favorites to use. I have a red that I use every once in a while. I used to use it more back when I did mostly like watercolor painting videos and they were just speed paints. Um, I will be doing more watercolor videos eventually. I just want to get back into the swing of things and these kind of nice sit down for like an hour work on it videos are a little easier at the moment. Uh, so I'm using the purple for base sketching and then uh, you'll see shortly I go back over it with the blue one to add fine detail. That's simply because the purple one is too short and I cannot sharpen it any longer. So I'm just using it the longest I can before I have to throw it out. So I, I've done that quite a bit where I just keep the short pencils and use them for under sketching and then get other longer ones for over. I have a Staedtler Click eraser, which is the blue clicky eraser above my hand currently, uh, a Zig, what is it called? 
a zig pen liner thing. Uh, here's the only clips that are sped up are me searching for what Jack's jawline looks like because I'm really bad at remembering what my own characters look like. So can get a peek at some of the stuff in the sketchbook, but I couldn't remember what his jawline looked like. Uh, but yeah, there's a zig fine liner pen. I have a Kurtaki brush that I just hit with my hand. I have three Caran d'Ache water soluble pencils in a bright blue, a bright purple, and a bright green. I don't use them in this, but I keep them in my bag just for if I'm bored. I have about a million Tombow brush markers, which are all the really thin black barreled brushes that you can see uh, above my hand. I have, uh, they're the, what are they? They're the Signo gel pens in gold, silver, and white. They are my favorite. They are the really chunky ones. So they've got a thick tip on them. So that way they're just easier for highlights. I have a blue sommelier brush pen, which I don't use, but I've had, I have used in this mark in the sketchbook before. It's from a sketchbox, I believe. I think it was from a sketchbox from a couple of months ago. My dad and my stepmom paid for me to have a six month subscription to Sketchbox over the course of the last year. And it was super fun. I am hoping that they do something similar for this year because I loved it. It was so nice to have that to look forward to every month where I'm just like, Ooh, what fancy art supplies am I gonna get this time? Um, there's a couple that I kept. I might do a video where I go over what art supplies I have. Just like, I don't know, I need to do a studio tour. I promised a studio tour and I still need to do it. And my cat is playing with a doorstop currently and I hope she stops. Um, but yeah, th that's the supplies I'm using for the most part. Uh, I do use the Tombos a little bit. The only thing I missed is I have a jelly roll pen in there for some reason. It shouldn't be in that bag, but it is. And I will probably remove it eventually. But yeah, uh, that's really all this video is, is me drawing my men. So if you have any questions, uh, here I go, searching for references again. If you have any questions about Jack and Simon, you can ask them. I have, and this is not even uh, hyperbole, I have like a thousand videos of them on this channel. Um, I have a Inktober playlist from I believe 2018. I could be wrong, but I think it's 2018 that talks about the beginnings of Jack and Simon's story. It's not completely accurate. And then I have um, a shorter playlist for Inktober 2019 where I read you Jack's story over the course of four videos. Uh, that story is more canon to him. There is some stuff that's changed, some stuff that I'm working on adjusting, things I'm not entirely certain on as of yet, mostly because he's a character, he's gonna change, he's gonna change with what I want and change how things are. Um, but I am very much so willing to answer any questions you may have about him, have about how I sketch him, how I draw him, why he's drawn a certain way, um, and Simon as well. Because I love them and I could talk about them for hours and hours and hours about how great they are and how much I can't believe that Dark Angel is already a thing even though that is a name I originally came up with for this story and now I might have to change it. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to talk about about them and the art supplies. I don't... Hmm. Videos. But yeah, I'm just, I'm working on sketching Jack right now. He is kind of in position, ready to do something, though he's dressed in his normal people clothes and not his dark angel clothes. So I, I don't really know what my thought process was with this, but he's got his whips in his hand and uh, I will be drawing Simon next to him shortly. Uh, and it looks like Simon is grabbing his ass and honestly, yeah, baby. Uh, and honestly, what else could you hope for from a sketchbook? I believe I'm going to have to release the cat, so I will be back in like two seconds. Literally no time at all for you guys. I have freed the child. So this is a great time because I actually remembered to let you know that my Etsy shop just had its fall release 
the week before this. And if you are interested in any fall themed stickers, prints, that's all I have right now. Um, or if you're interested in more spring style stuff, or you are just gay as hell and you need to show your pride. I have uh, pride stickers stating that love is love and that your identity is valid, no matter what those identities may be in my store currently. Um, if there is an identity that I missed or one that you wish to see, uh, then just let me know and I will do my best to add it to my shop as quickly as I can. There are a couple I know that I've missed, specifically uh, a romantic. I realized I missed. I put asexual because me, um, but I forgot about a romantic, so I need to go back and do that one. I have no idea if that'll be done and up by the time this video is up, but if it's not, you can yell at me in the comments to go make the a romantic sticker and I'll go do that. But uh, I also am prepping for an art festival here um, near, I, near where I live, not that I English the good anymore. I am doing the Remington Art Festival in Canton, New York. If you live near there and will be going to the art festival, you can meet me there. I will be selling um, specialty prints as well as sticker packs and other things. I will have a couple of originals for sale as well. And whatever originals do not sell, I will be putting up on my website. So if you are interested, make sure you go. And if you're interested in any originals, make sure to keep an eye on my shop. I'll be sure to release when I'm putting them on my shop as well. Now that that shameless plug is out of the way, um, I, I guess I can talk a little bit about the ELO sketchbook because I don't know that I've ever really talked about how much I love these ELO sketchbooks. Like, I, I know people are like, but the paper's not acid free. Well, yeah, no, it's not. It's a sketchbook. How often are you gonna go through a sketchbook in like 30 years where the paper's falling out and you wanna see somebody's anime drawings? Let's be honest. Like, I like a lot of my drawings, so what I do is I scan them and then I will be eventually putting them up on my Patreon. So like, I keep a record of them to the best of my ability. I need to go through and scan my other like six sketchbooks that I've done that I haven't scanned yet. Um, but I've scanned the majority of the sketchbook and I will be scanning more. So if you're interested in high quality scans of the boys, they will be on my Patreon eventually. I just have to figure out how to log back into it because I haven't touched it in a little bit. Because I looked at it, I set it up, I made it work, and then I stopped. So I need to go back in and finalize it eventually. But I don't know what else to talk about really my my life is not super intriguing or interesting at this current moment i am making prints like nobody's business i'm making st i'm going to be making stickers as soon as i'm done with this video for at least a couple more hours because i need to do so many sticker packs it's insane and then i have to work on some really fun fan art stickers and prints that i want to release on my shop very shortly because uh, I skipped that part, I guess, in building your following where you're supposed to make fan art of anime boys and all kinds of other stuff that people are into. And I didn't, so. I'm just not a fan art person, I found. Like, I like to sketch fan art stuff, but I don't ever finish it or post it because I just, I'm not that kind of person who wants finished fan art on my account. I prefer more my original stuff. But that's just me. I watch a lot of artists that do originals and not really fan art stuff anymore. So I think the only person I watched that had fan art was Bailey J for a while and then she stopped. And I mean, Casey Golden, who I also adore and love to watch, she does her Pokemon videos. She used to do them uh, where she had art block and so she'd draw all the Pokemon from memory. And that I loved and that was a really good way of handling fan art, but I'm more interested in making my own unique stuff, honestly, but I don't know if that's really the best way to go about it. I'll find out eventually. So since the last video, I have also moved my office around again. So when I do my studio tour video, the office will be an entirely different rearrangement again. So look forward to that. I need to clean the office a little more before that happens though. 
I just went through and organized some of my papers and stuff. So it, it's a bit of a mess still, but it could be worse. And then I've got paper cuttings and sticker paper everywhere. So it's great. I am curious, what are you guys up to though? Um, how many of you are going back to school? Uh, this is the first year I can say I'm not going back to school. I am planning on entering the workforce. Yay. But I'm still gonna be doing videos. It's my priority currently is videos and store prep and you know, doing my things to keep myself afloat. Less concerned about other stuff at the moment just sucks that there's no jobs here, like none at all. So everything I'm looking for are things that I'm either way, way too good for and have way too much uh, qualifications or they're things that I'm just like very slightly underqualified for and can't apply for. It's wonderful and nothing pays enough, which is just my complaint in general is nowhere pays enough. They don't follow high enough minimum wage things so it's like oh yeah 1250 an hour have fun survive pay for your rent pay your for your animals and your food and stuff yay it's just like oh but you know fifteen dollars would be a better ah, it's fine it's stressful stuff no need to worry about it for now so I am working on drawing Simon right now. I just did his giant glasses. I love drawing Simon. He's got such a fun, a fun face to draw. His body, I always have problems with making it look just how I want. Cause he's supposed to be a little softer than Jack. Jack's supposed to be more muscular and stuff. Cause he works out. He's, um, well, in the original story, he's a police officer detective kind of guy. I don't know that that's what I'm going to stick with. I don't know if I want to keep him as a detective or if I want him to be more like a private investigator type. I haven't decided yet. But that that's his original story, and Simon is a librarian, which will never change, because he is a sweet, soft librarian boy who writes books, and I love him. But I don't like the way I drew his sweater on this first sketch of him. It's not exactly how his sweater is supposed to look. The collar isn't right. It's like, like a scoopy neck kind of collar. And it's not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to be kind of closer to a turtleneck, but not exactly a turtleneck. But it looks good. I also fixed a problem I've been having with my camera in this video, or in videos in general, where it comes up with that focus box on it, and I finally fixed it. It's because I had my recording set uh, well, the camera settings set to video recording when all I needed to do was turn it to camera mode, which is why the quality of this recording is so much better than the other ones. It's not capped at a specific frame rate. It works so much better. I'm hoping that it stays like that in the render. I don't know. The render is always where things get destroyed, but it could be worse. So I don't know what else to say for this video. I'm kind of just rambling at this point. I don't have much else to talk about other than um, if you are interested in anything on my Etsy, please go check it out. And I think I might just leave the rest of this video to music. Just nice, sketchy, relaxing music. Um, if you guys have questions for me, make sure to leave them in the comments. And if you like the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you aren't already. Um, it's just nice to have the community grow. The community has been growing a little bit more these last couple of months, uh, this last month or two, just from me starting up videos again. And it makes me happy to see people are still interested in seeing my variety of art and my brand of chaos. Oh, excuse me. Gotta love it when you talk so much you get air trapped in your throat. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I appreciate all of you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this nice, sketchy video. Bye!